So the question came up as to how do I go about having students do retakes in Galileo? There are two methods. I don't like either one of them. I wish you could just reset a test and say go at it again, but there's no real good way to do that. So here are the, here are the two options that I do in my class. Option number one is to go up to your reports and keep in mind that I might have more tabs and options than you do being an admin but uh, this should work for most of you if not all so you go up to reports monitoring test monitoring then you're going to see um, student names okay uh, I've put their numbers here so that I don't break any FERPA laws but you're gonna see student names let's say student 115466 needs to retake her test I just go over here and I unlock the test that she's currently done or whoever this person is currently done. Now the drawback of that is it does not erase their current answers. So the advantage though is that now a student can go through and see what they put and decide whether their answer was right or wrong. But that's how once you've hit that unlock they can go back in and retake that test and, and see what they've already done. Option number two is to go into assessment, test construction, test builder. You select the library in which you have your tests in, in this case, this test right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a copy of a test. So I'm going to click here and say create a copy of an existing test. Then I'm going to select the library that that test is in again. In this case, it's Brian Weir 2. Then I'm going to select the test I want to copy. And let's say I want to retake this Earth Science Rocks 2016. Then I'm going to come down here and select the library that I want to put that test in. Usually it's going to be the same library that you had before. So Brian Weir 2. I'm going to give it a new title. And I'm going to say, um, so rocks 2016 version 2, so that you can distinguish it. So however you guys want to decide how to do that. And then you have a choice. If your test is satisfying and there's no errors on it, then you're going to say copy test status of original test. And you're going to hit copy test. Okay. Now there's a drawback with this side, and that is first of all you have to go through all this work, but then the other drawback is that you now need to reschedule that test, um, which is kind of a pain. So then you'd go click on that test that you just created, the copy version. You would have to come up to assessment, test scheduling, class calendar and then schedule your test then you'd have to go through the same set scheduling things that you've had to do before okay that's all there is to it um, I don't like either method I wish I could just hit a button that said reset but that's all that Galileo at this time that I'm aware of has given us